What's going on? This Brother Rock coming to you with another GMS on the go. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. And these videos we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That includes the confusion of faces, the ones who look like the heathen nations, but see goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and spirit bears witness to the truth. I want to do a video on enduring to be saved. All right. First scripture I want to bring out is uh, Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, and this is written in red coming from Lord Yahawashai, who our people ignorantly call Jesus. It says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. All right. And that's point blank simple. You know, the ones that's pushing this truth. Go ye on the highways and byways and push the gospel, you know, across the four corners of the earth to every creature, man. You know, verse 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Yeah. So the ones that have faith and the ones that believe. And that's going to be baptized, which is washing of the word. Okay, it's not dipping, you know, um, someone into dirty ass water, man. It's talking about the, the refreshing and washing of the word, man. Okay. It reads, but he that believeth not shall be damned. All right, so the ones that don't believe, you know, for our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, are going to be damned. You're going to be destroyed by the Lord. Okay, so let's see what it means to actually be saved. All right, the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13. It's like the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 13. And again, it's written in red. It reads, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Yeah, so for the ones that's pushing um, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, in the spirit, Waha, Rekha, Kadash, all right, it's pushing his truth, will be hated by the world, man. All right, by these, um, the wicked society that we live in called America, okay, first and foremost. They're gonna, we're going to be hated by, by the world, man, as well as the ones that's trying to live the truth, okay? But it reads on, but he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. So for the ones that endure to the end are going to be the ones that's going to be saved. You know, you got our people saying that they're saved and, and, um, you know, uh, well, most importantly, they say they're saved. But what are they saved from? We haven't been delivered yet. So the scriptures say, but he that shall endure unto the end shall be saved. Okay. And if you look into the word endure, some of the definitions read, suffer something painful or difficult patiently. So, yeah, we're suffering um, being under these devil's rulership. Okay. You know, being at the bottom, first one's fired, last one's hired you know, getting shot down in the streets. We're going through our, our um, suffering right now because the Lord is punishing us, okay? But for the ones that are going to, you know, um, you know, hearken to the truth and be baptized by the word, you know, and, and ultimately endure to the end, you know, suffer through everything, you know, by patiently waiting on the Lord to send his only begotten son, okay? It reads on to go through. Yeah, we're going through hell. We're going through hell in America, you know, suffering all these, you know, hardships, you know, suffering and being at the bottom. Okay. Live through. Experience. You know, cope with. Yeah, so we coping with all of uh, our people, you know, being um, destroyed as well as us, man, physically. You know, these devils are out here uh, poisoning the air, poisoning the food, poisoning the water, you know, pushing all these, uh, all these philosophies and doctrines. You know, promoting sodomy, you know, just, just just destroying the earth, man, you know. So we have to cope with that until, you know, our power comes back to save us, Lord willing, we're part of the elect. It reads on, face, suffer, tolerate, put up with, yeah, bear, you know, and those are all the definitions of endure. And if you look at the prefix of the word endure, it means what? End, right? So you're not actually enduring if you don't make it to the end. And so, again, what have our people been saved from if we haven't made it to the end yet? So it reads, 
the book of Mark chapter 13, verse 13. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Yeah, the ones that are pushing the truth and, you know, and calling on the Lord's um, real true name, man. Yahweh, which is the heavenly father, Bahashem, the only begotten son. All right. But he that shall endure unto the end. Yeah. So for the ones that's going to remain in the truth and endure to the end, you know, Lord willing, we're some of those men, you know, Lord willing, we endure to the end and we're part of the elect. The same shall be saved. Yeah. So that's when you're going to know you're saved. If for the ones that get beamed up in the chariots. Yeah. Because our people can say that they're in the truth, you know, calling on the Lord's name. But when the hour of temptation comes, they're going to take some of our people are going to take the mark of the beast. OK, some some of our people are, are, are going to, um, you know, switch sides, man. So, you know, we haven't actually been saved yet until we actually endure to the end. And definitions read, yo, we got to cope with it. We got to deal with it. We got to, you know, um, undergo, live through, you know, we got to live through all these these things. You know, some of us are going to be martyrs for the truth. And, and ultimately, that's enduring to the end. That's being saved, you know? All right? And um, I'm going to bring one last scripture out, and then I'm going to close out. But, you know, ultimately, the message is um, enduring to be saved. Because you have to cope with, you have to deal with, you have to bear through all the way to the end to be saved. You aren't saved yet. We have not been saved from anything yet. Okay? Lord willing, we will be soon if we're part of the elect and we endure to the end. Okay? The book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, let me get this, verse 13. Again, it's written in red, coming from Lord Yahweh, who our people ignorantly call Jesus. It reads, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. That's right. So the ones that are going to make it into the end, who's going to cope with, deal with, suffer through patiently, all right, all the way to the end. And it's true. Are going to be the ones that are, that are going to be saved, Lord willing, with some of those men. Actually, I want to bring out another precept, and just just to um, further further edify about how important it is to understand that you know only way you're going to be saved is at the end. Okay. Um. The book of Sirach, chapter two, verse one. I'm gonna start at one. And I'm gonna read down to two. It reads, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord." Prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's what we're going through. When you're in this truth, you get major temptation, man. Left and right, you know. And um, that's why the scriptures say, prepare thyself for temptation. And, you know, our people are going to take the mark of the beast when that's tempted. You know, and our people are, are, are going to be starving. And that's ultimately a test from the Lord, man. You know, and, and the Lord knows who's going to take that chip and who's not. Okay, but it's coming soon. All right, Esau is gearing up and speeding up time, man. Because he knows his time is short. So, again, it reads, the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? Verse 2. Set thy heart aright. And how are you setting your heart aright? By staying in the scriptures. All right? You know, um, it, you know, remaining in the, in the truth. Seeking the wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures. Ultimately, which the Lord has to give you the spirit of fear to... Um, you know, to get the, the wisdom and understanding of the truth. Okay, so you're enduring, or Salaka, you are setting your heart aright. And that word heart goes back to the Hebrew word love, which means your mind. You're setting your mind right through the scriptures, okay? Being baptized by the word. Okay? And it reads, and constantly enduring. See, that's one of the key words of that scripture, con uh, key words, I would say, constantly enduring. Okay? Because remember, you know, we read a definition of constantly living through, constantly suffering patiently, you know, through what's going on of us catching hell in America. You got to constantly pray for that, that endurance. It reads on and make not haste in time of trouble. Yeah, make not haste in time of trouble, you know, because ultimately Laura is going is going to take care of the ones that endured and, and stayed in the truth. All right. All the way to the end. You know, Lord willing, we're part of the elect. OK. And I, I say Lord willing because, again, we don't know who's going to be saved until the end. Okay? So our people out here, they're saying that they're saved. You're not saved until you're saved, um, until you endure to the end. Lord willing, you're part of the elect. All right? And that's the ones who are actually in the truth, calling on the right names. You know? And doing all those things, trying to keep the statute of all his commandments to the best of their ability. Okay? Because that's part of enduring. 
All right. And it's also part of setting your heart aright by not celebrating these pagan holidays, by not, um, you know, living a wicked life, you know, because, uh, you know, the scriptures say if, if you love the Lord, you keep you keep the Lord's commandments. OK. And that's part, again, of constantly enduring, you know. So I'm going to read again. I'm going to close out the book of Sirach, chapter two, verse two. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So make not haste in time of trouble, you know. With that being said, <clears throat> for the ones who are watching the video, hey, it's all about um, enduring to be saved, okay? Ultimately, re receiving salvation from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. With that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us D100% truth according to the Bible, and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing um, in truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.